Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am on my soapbox because I'm gonna be telling you four things that you should absolutely not do if you're thinking about buying a house. So if you've never purchased a home before, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. So these four mistakes you can avoid and not fall into the pit holes of crashing and burning when it's time to purchase your first home. Stay tuned and I'm gonna walk you through so that way you can have smooth sailing all the way to the day that you get the keys to your house. Rule number one, put the credit cards away. If you do use the credit cards, you're gonna to wanna to keep your usage down to 30% or less of your available balance. In addition to that, if you're looking for some furniture or some appliances online, don't open up any new lines of credit. You know, they love to dangle that carrot offering you 0% interest for six months. Well, as soon as you do that and you open a new line of credit, you could totally derail your debt to income ratios as well as delay your closing. It has actually happened to some clients of mine in the past. So please, please, please do not open up any new credit credit card accounts or max out your cards because you could kill your chances of being able to buy a home. Speaking of spending, the second area that can cause some issues is shopping for cars. It's best to not buy a car until after you buy your home. So if you're looking at some new vehicles and you're thinking it's time to change, wait until after closing before you hit those auto lots and you pick out a nice new car because once you have those car payments, if you're choosing to finance a car that is, um, it can definitely affect your ability to qualify and also the price of the home that you would qualify for. Uh, and you might say, hey, I've got lots of cash. I don't have to finance a car. Well, once that cash is pulled out of your bank account, it again could affect your ability to qualify for a home. So purchasing a vehicle is definitely something that you really want to wait to do until after you buy. The third mistake that I see happen is something I just alluded to. Let's say you do want to take cash and purchase a car or take a large amount of money to make a major purchase. Any big financial changes can prevent your ability to qualify, get a good rate, or even be able to buy a home. So in addition to keeping that car at bay, if you're thinking about you know, buying very expensive jewelry or doing something significant financially with the cash reserves that you have, you might wanna freeze that thought until after you close on your home. Mistake number four that I see happen is when people quit their jobs or change the industry that they work in. So if you don't like your job or you don't like your industry, hang in there for four to six weeks until you can go to closing before you decide to walk in the door and tell the boss that you quit. Because if you leave your job or you change industries midway through buying a home, you may very well find that your loan will be rejected. Now, it does require employment usually to qualify for a mortgage or at least a source of income. So if you don't have a job, but you do have a job offer letter, sometimes you can qualify once that letter is verified. So just to recap, we don't wanna see any major financial changes. We would prefer that you not buy cars, not quit your job, not change your job, and keep your credit card expenses to a minimum. If you can do these four things, you're really gonna position yourself well to have smooth sailing all the way to the closing day. If I can answer any other questions for you, please feel free to reach out to me. My information will be at the end of the video. Also too, like and subscribe to the channel as every week I try to put out videos to help you to enjoy the benefits of homeownership and also learn more about the real estate industry here in Columbia, South Carolina or wherever you may live. Thanks again for watching and I hope you're having a great day.